Uh, foggy as well. Should be moving out of here in a little bit. So, a lot of people having New Year's Eve parties tomorrow night. Big fun. And if you're looking for some great recipes, you're in luck. We are joined by Jackie Medill with the Washington State Beef Commission with some great ideas that we always have. Because tomorrow night it is one of the best nights for partying, celebrating. Hey, yeah, party it up, right? What with beef. Got? Yeah, <laughs> with beef. It's not just for dinner, it's for the parties as it well. It is. It's for the parties. It's tailgate parties, New Year's parties, Christmas parties, you know, whatever, whatever suits your fancy this season. And uh, you got some great fits. appetite just to start out with, too. I do, I do. And, you know, one of my favorite kind of go-to appetizers in our family is stuffed mushroom caps. I mean, it's nothing revolutionary, but I love this one because it is ground beef and blue cheese. I mean, beef and blue cheese, they just go, go wrong together. With that. Yep. Better than peanut butter and jelly, right? So what I've got here is a bowl. Browned my ground beef in a skillet, added some chopped chives, a little whole wheat breadcrumbs, and blue cheese. You would just mix this together. Do, 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 do. Smells good too. It does. And you know, blue cheese melts up to be nice and creamy. And then you just take your hollowed out mushroom caps. And wonderful trick that I found last night when I was putting some together um, is my one third teaspoon <laughs> measuring spoon is the perfect size to hollow out mushroom caps. So good. there you go. If you've got one of those, you'll be all set. And it's one bite too, because when you're at a party, you want something you can just grab and simple nosh and move on. And easy. Simple and move on. Exactly. And exactly. the thing I like about this too is it looks looks cool. It has a good presentation value on there as well with all the textures and the colors. It does. And you know, you can make up a whole like baking sheet worth of these, stick them in the fridge to keep them chilled. And then, you know, 15, 20 minutes before you want to have good stuff for folks to eat, you pop them in the oven just for about 15, 20 minutes. 375-ish, 350-ish, they're gonna melt and look beautiful. And then this is what they look like when they're done. No, those Scoot look down good. here to the Can end. Can I grab one of those? Yeah, absolutely. Go Just them garnish right them with, again, some cho chopped mm -hmm. chives. Um, mm. Or if you're a rosemary or thyme kind of person, mm -hmm. that's great as well. And they're just pretty mm. and simple. Mm. They're great hot right out of the oven or um, chilled down. Now, when you put those in, you, you didn't put them all together in like a ball or anything. Like you put the meat on the bottom and then put the blue cheese on top, is that kind of thing? It's kind as of all mixed, them, mixed, mixed together. together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when you toss it together in the bowl. Mm. So again, this is a great go-to beef recipe for appetizers, simple and easy. We've got a lot of appetizers like this um, mm -hmm. and game day appetizers too, pulled together on our that was good. Pinterest we're page. We're going to need a lot more of those. We're gonna, yeah, we're going <laughs> to polish those off for breakfast. So well, One of the things too I want to point out about is when you're cooking this, obviously you want to have your temperature right here, your thermometer. Yeah, and you Ground beef is easy because you cook it until it's brown. Mm -hmm. And so that's, you know, 165. That's a fully cooked yeah. ground beef. Um, and you've got it in your skillet. And then when all the pink is gone, you're done. Roasts are a little bit harder. Steaks are a little bit harder. And, you know, this is the holiday season. A lot of people are roasting, even though Christmas dinner is maybe done. You've got more holiday parties going on. And one of my favorite go-to roasts is the tenderloin. It's super lean. It's beautiful to work with. It's so easy. This is a, um, a tied tenderloin roast, you can see. Just garnished it with a little pretty roast. Rosemary, though. But Smell look at how rosemary lean too. and beautiful it is. Um, this is so easy. Literally, a little salt, pepper, maybe some fresh herbs. Pop it in the oven in a roasting pan. Um, 35, 45 minutes, quick and easy. And you get this beautiful roast when you're done. I started carving this up. We can pretend this is our leftovers, right? If mm -hmm. you ever have leftovers from a, a dinner party. And you it's can great do, always having leftovers. You can do so much with and leftovers. Look what you did over here. This is a beautiful looking leftover. Isn't it looks more this like a great? dish. Wouldn't you just love to start your new year off with like lean and powerful mm -hmm. protein saying, let's get the day going, let's be fresh and easy. This is, you know, a winter berry salad, fresh berries, and beautiful lean steak over a bed of greens. Healthy protein and you got your uh, your fruits in there and your salads. All right. Yes. Great yes. stuff. Lean in 2014 for sure. Head to our Pinterest page for tons of recipes at WA Beef or our uh, website wabeef.org. Right. Great information and great advice too and tips there. Jackie Medill from the Washington State Beef Commission. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. by. I'm going to grab a few more of those while we <laughs> send it over to MJ with the weather.